from your regular models up to a bad guy chasing police interceptors. The original small block played an important role in the American automotive business. With over 100 million engines sold, there is no doubt about its qualities and advantages. Although the design comes from the 50s and the series is no longer in production, some traces are still to be found on the modern family. It was 1955 and GM needed a new unit to support the old design stove bolt in line 6 from the 1920s. The result wasn't the first V8 of the brand, but the first small block V8 coming out as a 265 cubic inch variant, dubbed the Turbofire V8. Ignoring the name as it had nothing to do with turbochargers, it was introduced for the Corvette C1 with 180 horsepower or 195 with the Rochester 4 barrel carburetor. The 265 was bore out to 3.875 inch with the 3 inch stroke increasing the displacement from 4.3 to 4.6 liters. The block had to be cast differently to prevent from overheating and with Rochester Ramjet mechanical fuel injection it was the first US made engine to make 1 horsepower per 1 cubic inch. Amongst others the checker taxis were offered with it. <laughs> Stepping up the game, the 327 was a part of the 4-inch bore family combined with a 3.25-inch stroke flows, providing a wide range of power levels between 210 to 375 horsepower. The 327 was meant for civil as well as sports cars like Avanti 2. It did appear in the C2 Corvette 2 with the 375 horsepower 11 to 1 compression ratio forged piston engine with enlarged main journals from 2.3 to 2.45 inch. To allow the small block to compete in the SCCA Trans Am competition, the engine volume had to be under 5000 cc and was introduced for the Chevrolet Camaro Z28. Basically, it was a product of placing the 3 inch stroke 283 crankshaft into a 4 inch bore 327 block. It was accompanied by the 11 to 1 compression ratio with solid lifters, high rise intake manifold, and 4 barrel holy carburetor. The output of 290 horsepower seemed conservative, but Z28 owners would have found a box with tubular headers in the trunk after purchase, making it more like 376 horsepower. The 350 or 5.7 liter received a 3.48 inch stroke to reach this volume and GM targeted it as a high performance variant for the Camaro and switched over with the 327 as a base engine for the Nova. However, it wasn't just that as the 350 was installed in everything from a passenger car or truck up to a high performance models such as the Vettel ZR1 or Camaro Z28. The thing was the power levels varied between 145 up to 370 horsepower for the LT1 version. Besides these, the 400 cubic inch powerhouse came along and was the largest of the series. With 6.6 .6 liters of displacement, the unit was built for 10 years for medium sized passenger cars and full size Chevrolet and GMC cars and trucks. Providing around 250 horsepower, the 400 wasn't the most powerful of the family, but it was enough to gain respect for the tremendous torque it had.
Using the 350's 3.48 inch stroke crankshaft, the 305 had a bore length of 3.736 inch, which was just enough to reach 5001 cc of volume. Regardless how pointless it is, important was that many parts were interchangeable with the 350, but designed for tight emission regulations. This means a significant increase in fuel economy, but also in torque compared to the small straight and V-shaped six-cylinders of the 70s. A notable part of the family, even though it is the generation 2 with only limited amount of interchangeable parts, would be the LT5 unit, which was an extensively modified engine by Lotus. It got rid of the conventional overhead valve valve train in favor of the 32 valve double overhead cam heads, which helped to squeeze up to 405 horsepower out of the 5.7 liter 350 engine. The good old GM small block was around up to 2003, what makes it 48 years old. A very few engines had such a long lifespan, and this V8 not only achieved that, but newer models of the small block still use some similar solutions sourced from the old engine, as it powered everything from a family van to a racing SCCA Camaro. It says enough how capable it actually was. Heads off to GM and subscribe to Viziracer for interesting content.